Hi, I'm Jeff Fry, Senior Business Development Engineer with CloudBees. Today I'm going to talk to you about our CloudBees for ServiceNow solution. This solution integrates CloudBees with ServiceNow's change management and incident management. Let me tell you why this is important to your software delivery process. Let's take a look at a software delivery pipeline. In this example, we have phases for commit, build, test, stage, and deploy. So when we commit our code, we continue with the build. Then some testing occurs, which means our software gets deployed to a test environment. This could be physical servers, virtual machines, or maybe even containers. We then push to a staging environment, which involves a different set of servers. Then we deploy to production, which involves yet another set of servers. So that's all well and good, but now let's scale up more software in more environments. Now add the additional complexity of multiple software artifacts contributing to a product. Let's also add the rapid pace of software changes due to agile development processes. So this adds additional dimension that increases the volume of software changes. You know, some organizations are pushing releases to their environments every few seconds. Then in the real world, we're going to run into issues. Maybe tests fail, or worse, maybe a customer encounters an issue with our, our production software. So then how are we going to understand what changes cause the issue? What software changes, what configuration changes, hardware, even network changes that occurred? ServiceNow provides a change management system that tracks and manages these changes. But if your software delivery process is not integrated into this, you're potentially blind to the single biggest source of change in your software organization's IT environment. CloudBees integration with ServiceNow solves this problem. So let's talk about how this works. With our solution, we have integrated your Jenkins pipeline with ServiceNow. So now when your software is deployed to an IT system, a change request is automatically submitted to ServiceNow. This can happen for every software change deployed to every IT system. With that change request, you can record data such as your commit IDs, your release configuration, or even the Jenkins build output. ServiceNow will then track all these software changes as well as any configuration, network, and hardware changes. ServiceNow is then your single source of truth of configuration for your IT environment. Now when an issue occurs, we can quickly track the changes that caused the problem in one place, and that's ServiceNow. But CloudBees integration with ServiceNow takes it a step further. When an issue occurs, your Jenkins pipeline can detect the issue through, say, a failed test and automatically create an incident ticket in ServiceNow. This can kick off a ServiceNow incident workflow to automatically assign and route investigation work. Instant tickets can include any build or test data to help with the investigation. So now let's see a demo of this. Right now we're looking at my Jenkins master. To configure our Jenkins pipelines to post a service now, we just need to add our service now credentials. So let's go check those out. There are our global system config. We'll scroll down here and we'll see our, where our service now credentials are listed. And then we'll just validate just to make sure it's working. Good, we got a successful message. Now let's go to a pipeline where we are deploying to environments. Here we have a pipeline where we're doing a build, deploy to test, smoke test, uh, integration test, and then deploy to production, uh, and then production smoke test. So let's take a look at our pipeline script. And if we go scroll down and if we take a look at the uh, deploy to test stage, we simply include a couple lines here to create the change request along with any relevant data we would like to add. So now let's execute our pipeline. So now we see our pipeline is executing now. Now that's complete, we can click on this run. And then we notice here that the ServiceNow change requests are listed right here. So we can click on a link and go directly to the change request in ServiceNow. Some basic information is included, including the environment or configuration item that this, this ran against. But also automatically what's included is the Jenkins build output and a link back to the actual build or the project. Now let's take a look at incident tickets. 
So let's go back. I have a pipeline set up to create instant tickets. So right now we've already run this pipeline a few times and we have it fail at the integration test phase. If we click on the last run, we also see that an incident ticket was created and listed right here. So similar to change request, we can click on this and go right to the incident ticket in service now. And similar to the change request, we have all the relevant data, Jenkins build output and link backs are automatically included. One thing we also notice here is that we have automatically assigned this ticket to someone. So with this, you can take advantage of the ServiceNow assignment and instant workflow management to kick off additional routing and approvals as well as any automation. So there you have it. That's the CloudBees for ServiceNow solution. This is also a certified solution. So you also have the complete confidence and peace of mind with the quality, security, and support from ServiceNow and CloudBees. Thanks for watching.